you recently had an opportunity to, to deliver the Charles Evans Hughes lecture. You used that opportunity to discuss an episode from Hughes's career where uh, he kind of played a role in addressing intolerance, in showing uh, exactly what uh, kind of role lawyers and in specific uh, organized groups of lawyers could play in fighting intolerance, standing up when a nation is kind of riven apart by political uh, distress. You know, it's the old saying, everything old is new again. Um, uh, 1919, 1920 is one of the most tumultuous couple of years in American history. Uh, it was the time of the first great Red Scare, um, where millions of Americans and New Yorkers were uh, convinced that radicals, socialists, communists, um, were taking over the country and uh, were going to sort of dismantle the America that we know. Um, uh, that was not true. Um, the number of radicals that actually existed in the country were relatively few in number and they certainly didn't have the capacity to do what many feared. Uh, but there were um, throughout the country acts of extraordinary discrimination, brutality and violence directed against radicals and as you pointed out, in 1920, uh, the New York State Legislature uh, summarily threw out five duly elected members who belonged to the Socialist Party of New York State. Charles Evans Hughes at that time was the most prominent New Yorker. Um, he was a former governor at that time. He was a former candidate for President of the United States, almost won in 1916. Um, and he was a giant in law, in politics, in public policy, and a Republican. And an extraordinary act of courage um, in less than 48 hours after the socialists were suspended and removed from the legislature pending a trial, Hughes penned an open letter that was published in newspapers around the country um, condemning the actions of the assembly and its impact on representative government the simple idea that the people should be allowed to elect whoever they choose and the notion that the legislature would remove someone not because they had done anything wrong or unethical or illegal but simply for their beliefs exactly yeah. right and so uses courage and the act of the organized bar in response to what the legislature did um, is one of those great moments there's a proud tradition in the legal profession about lawyers representing unpopular clients yeah, because Hughes essentially lost the argument. They were, in fact, drummed out. It's the, it's the classic line from Mr. Smith goes to Washington, lost causes are the, are the only ones worth fighting for. Yeah, he, well, he, he lost the battle, but he won the war. Uh, because of the actions of Hughes and bar associations for taking the principled stand, the Red Scare basically ended uh, shortly afterwards. What the legislature did was so bizarre, so ridiculous, and you showed them up for being such fools in taking that action that it helped bring the state and the nation to its senses and realized that there really wasn't this threat and that the overreaction was counterproductive and we went from the Red Scare to the Roaring Twenties and in part we owe you an enormous debt of gratitude.